In my last video in the Mega 2 series, I unboxed the Mega 2, looking forward to it being game changing. The thing is a beast. And now in this video, I'm gonna test it against powering my entire house. We'll see how that goes. I'll give you a glimpse. This didn't all work out the way that I wanted it to with this Mega 2, but this video is about it powering my house. Let's see how it does. Watch till the end because it surprised the heck out of me. Now, let's take old buddy downstairs to see how well it runs um, one side of my panel and maybe even both sides of my panel because it has a 2500 watt inverter. Which one says that? That one right there. So that's a little bit more cushion because what I typically do is I split power stations up. So one side runs one, one load, one power station runs one side, the other power station runs the other side. So if I spike up to 1800 watts, one in my microwave, or 15, 1700 watts, one in my air fryer, on a 2000 watt inverter or 1800 watt inverter, you know, that's a recipe for crashing. <laughs> and I don't use a whole lot of power, but you know, I'm, anyway, I'll, let me let me get to it. So before I start, I'm gonna turn my, oh, I guess I could press the button. I'm gonna turn my thermostat down because I don't want it coming back on. What I want to do is to see how well this thing can power up my entire home. I'm gonna do the whole kit and caboodle, which means running two male to male cables into the power station, which reminds me, I gotta get the other male to male cable. Basically what that will allow me to see is how well it handles surge, how well it handles the in rush, not in rush in the AC sense, but the in rush of power, the flow of power all at once. <laughs> all right, got my handy dandy uh, male to male cable and I have it set up with this fail safe on it, which is this um, 16 gauge switch so that I can have control over the end being live. A little bit of a safety precaution, but the power station itself being off is a safety precaution as well. It's a little dark down here because I just turned off power to half my house, which is why I brought down this lamp. Now this side of my panel, you can see that it only uses about 40 watts if the heat is not on. This mainly controls the top half of my house, my kids room, the back room, upstairs stuff and one outlet in my kitchen unless i'm using heat which uses about five six hundred watts so let's turn this off and then all i need to do eel unplug this pull a little extra wire out and plug that into here and then i need to get my other cable this is a 10 gauge 10 foot cable these cables are expensive man i should i need 25 but <laughs> i'm not gonna nip it so this is not powered at all, but what I still want to do is plug this in first and then plug this into here. And this is what I mean by redundancy because you can see that that's in the off position. So the power station's power is off, that's off. So when this shouldn't be live, I still wouldn't touch this because I ain't crazy. You want to get in a good habit of having safe practices with these cables. So now it's the moment of truth. They are both plugged in. So when I turn this on, it's going to try and power up my entire house. So let's turn on AC and watch the magic. Actually, there is no magic because <laughs> I got to turn this on too. So there we go. This, the joint in the, oh, look at that. It's up to nine, 800 watts. It's telling me 60 volts. At, I'm sorry, 60 hertz at 120 volts. The volts is fluctuating a little bit between 120, 119, 770 watts is going through there now. That must be the fridge and everything else that's on in the house. Let me see if I can turn the heat on. All right, turn the heat off. Uh, just not the overload things. We're gonna hit it up to 72. And then we're gonna run downstairs because <laughs> it's gonna take a second to turn on. All right, we here. I can hear it kind of turning up. Air is starting to flow. Okay, there it goes. Fans. Not crazy. 1400 watts. This side, which is the outtake. 13 honey no blinking no strange sounds this is my whole house is being powered right now 
You can see it says it's gonna last for about an hour. Let's see if it'll turn on my uh, my dryer. My dryer is gas along with my furnace. Let's see if it'll get it started. Now it has a 12, 1300 watt load on it. The max is 2500 watts. This doesn't use but like 500. But I wonder if the surge is crazy because a lot of my power stations can't even turn this on. So I'm gonna try it, but it's probably gonna kill my power. <laughs> Holy moly, <laughs> it turned it off. <laughs> That's bananas. <laughs> Look at how much power it's using. Two, <laughs> I'm so impressed right now. There's only one other power station I have that can do that. That's what the fans sound like. Oh, it just settled down. Cause that dryer takes something to get going, but it doesn't take much to maintain it. It's still still spinning they spinning ninja they spinning fans are still the same but i was hoping to get you to hear i mean you could hear it from right here the fans are not crazy right now this is fantastic i knew this thing was going to be a game changer for me let's turn this uh this thing off we don't need that <laughs> Now I still won't typically use that device in that fashion where it's powering both legs. I'll probably switch between that and maybe the Blue Eddy AC200P or the All Powers R1500 because they have decent um, inverters in them as well. That's interesting, man. I'm I'm kind of really <laughs> I'm really blown away by that. All right, now let's get into some solar and figure that whole situation out. Thank you.